Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Most welcome to Triangular Kamal Academy. Today we are going to solve here 14 week higher mathematics assignment for the students of standard 9. And this is the third assignment from the higher mathematics and this assignment from the chapter 3. And there is one creative questions uh, by using the Apollonius theorem. So you have to solve these questions. So let's see first what is the questions here. Then we will start the answer writing. Uh, here we see the diagram is given here, uh, two diagrams. The, this is the first figure and this is the second figure. But uh, by using this figure, we have to answer here three questions. And the first question is uh, another information BC equal to CD. This information is also given here. The first question, what is the length of the orthogonal projections of the point A along BC? That means the requirement is find the orthogonal projection of the point A along the line BC. Along the line BC, what will be the orthogonal projections? And explain and with the logic. Explain it with the logic. Number B, find the length of AC. So from the, this figure, this is the requirement, find the length of AC. And the third question, question number C, here is, Prove that PQ square uh, from this figure, PQ square is smaller than PR square and RQ square. So there are three requirements from this diagram. Let's see what is the answer here. Okay, first question, uh, what is the length of the orthogonal projection of the point A along the BC? That means, uh, suppose this is a point A here. And our requirement is find the orthogonal projection. Suppose this is the line BC. And orthogonal projection of the point, if we draw a perpendicular line on the extended part of the BC, suppose this is the point is D. So orthogonal projection of point A will be a point. And point has no definite length. That's why we can say here orthogonal projection of point A will be a point and it has no length, length will be zero. And this is also a stay in the external part of the a produce part of the BC. So now here we can write the answer. The orthogonal projections of a point on a certain straight lines means the perpendicular drawn from, the, from that point on the lines. And since the point has only position and it has no length, therefore the length of the orthogonal projections of the point a along BC is zero. So this is the first answer. An orthogonal projection of point A will be located at the point D, which is standard part of the BC. So I think this is now answer with the logic. The length will be zero and its position will be D. Now, second question, the question's requirement is find the length of AC. Find the length of this AC. So now we see here, AC is related with the right angle triangle AC and D, A, C, D. This is a right angle triangle. In this right angle triangle, AC is hypotenuse. And other two sides are the AD, whose value is 13. And another side is CD, its value is not given here. That's why our first requirement to find the length DC. And because by using DC and AD, we can find easily AC. So now according to the question requirement here, we can write BC equal to CD. This information is given here, BC equal to CD. This information is given in the question. Now again, BD equals to 40, the total length from the figure we can write, BD divided into two parts and they are equally. So doing the calculation, we will get here, CD will be the 20 centimeter. So now in this right angle triangle, this side is the 20 centimeter. This side is the 30 centimeters. So now from using the Pythagorean theorems from this right angle triangle, we can write here AC square is equal to AD square plus CD square. Now putting their value, after doing the calculation, we will get here 1,300. Now our requirement is find the value of AC. This is square from left side to right side. It will convert it as a square root and 1300 square root will be 10 multiplied root over 30, which is approximate value is 36.06 centimeter. And this is our answer.
Now, uh, read the question number C from the figure. The question number C requirement is show that PQ square is greater than the square of the sum of PR square and QR square. So now, uh, actually, from the requirement, we have to answer these questions. First step, uh, here, this is a perpendicular length, and this length, just consider here as this point is missing in the assignment. So we can consider any points, maybe S or A or B, no problem. Considering this point is S, that means PS is perpendicular on QR. PS is perpendicular on QR. That means this is a right angle left side and this is also a right angle. Okay, now in this triangle, there is a triangle, right angle triangle, whose this external angle is a right angle. We all know external angle is the sum of this external angle is the sum of two internal angle. So external angle is the sum of two internal angle. That means external angle must be greater one internal angle because external angle is the sum of two internal angle. That's why we can say external angle is greater than one internal angle. So now this external angle is greater than one internal angle. And here this is the greater angle. This greater angle is 90 degree. Greater angle is 90 degree. Definitely this smaller angle must be smaller than 90. If this angle is 90, this one must be smaller than 90 comparing these two angles. So now uh, here from the figure, this angle is the acute angle triangle. This is the acute angle. And now if we consider here the whole triangle at a times, P, Q, R, this is an external, this is an acute angle. And this is the side. This side is the opposite of acute angle triangle. Opposite of acute angle triangle which is our requirement here pq square that means opposite side of the opposite side of an acute angle triangle and this is our requirement so now uh, from here we can pq is an opposite side of an acute angle opposite side of an acute angle qrp so now next step uh, here we see uh, from this right angle triangle pqs so right here is PQ, this point is S. So now PQS, this is a right angle triangle. Using Pythagorean's theorems or Pythagoras theorems, we can write hypotenuse square is the sum of other two side square. And QS, QS is the subtraction of QR minus SR. Uh, if we draw the figure here, suppose this is the whole length of QR. If we want to find here QS, QS means this side is our requirement. So now if we subtract, uh, if we subtract from whole length to this length, we will get this one. So now square remaining here the same. Now A minus using the formula of A minus B whole square. A minus B whole square, A square minus twice A B plus B square. And now writing here PS with SR together they will make another formula and this one remaining same so now in the right side ps square sr square and together uh, this sides uh, is the result of pr square this is because this is an another right angle triangle so now this is uh, pq square is equal to pr square plus qr square minus 2qr multiply sr square so now uh, let me clear one thing. If there is a two, consider here the two part. This is one part and uh, this is another part. Okay, let me clear his one point. What is mean now? If we subtract some amount or some portions from this part, each one will be equal of PQ square. If we subtract the second part from the first part, each one will be this one. Without doing subtract, this one must be greater than this one. So now from this above relation, we can write this one. Okay, if I give the one example, it will be clear to you. Suppose this one we can consider here 20. And this is equal. And here, this is now we can write here 25. And here, this is considering minus, And this is now writing here 5. So 20 minus 5, this one will be 20, 25 minus 20. Okay, now, if we skip this right part, what will be result now? 
that means if we skip this right part there will be 25 must be greater than 20 so just now we have done this one if we skip this one that means this one must be greater than this one so now in the same way pq square is must be this one is the smaller than pr square plus qr square so now this is our result of the assignment i hope uh, you got the point how we have done this so uh, dear students i think this is up to last there are three questions it's very easy assignments just using apollonius concept acute angle concept orthogonal projection concept you have to solve this assignment so i hope you have understood these questions properly if you have any more question uh, please let me know i will try to answer as far as your demand and hope to see you all in the next assignment and my request to all of you please subscribe my channels and you can share this content to your friends and thank you so much hope to see you again assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh